Hi, did you know one out of every 10 Indian women is diagnosed with PCOS and out of those 10 diagnosed, six girls are teenagers. So what is this PCOS? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. You all must have heard this term very commonly these days. PCOS is nothing but a group of disorders. Uh, a lot of girls experience irregular periods. Some of them on sonography have cysts in their ovaries or some may simply have an increase in the dimensions or volume of their ovaries. Not only this, a lot of women may also have hormonal imbalance which shows as acne especially on the lower face and neck and their chest. Some women have thinning or loss of hair on their scalp. Some experience increase in body hair, especially facial hair, hair on the chest. Some girls may also experience pigmentation, not only on the face but also on the neck. Remember one thing, it is not necessary for all women to have all of these symptoms. Also, uh, it's a myth that only obese women can have PCOS. These days, a lot of lean girls are also diagnosed as PCOS. Not just this, a lot of girls undergo insulin resistance. The signs of insulin resistance very commonly are pigmentation, especially on the sides of the face, lower face, neck, uh, behind your neck, uh, in your elbow folds. These women in future have a tendency for diabetes, heart issues, cholesterol. Uh, not only this, but a lot of women may also undergo infertility. So, what are the causes of PCOS? It is mainly chronic stress, erratic lifestyle or it could be a genetic tendency. Remember girls, there is no permanent cure to PCOS because it is not a disease. It is simply a tendency. So what can we do about it? The most important factor is lifestyle modification. So please eat healthy, control your sugar intake, reduce intake of junk food and refined food, reduce intake of foods with high glycemic index, exercise as exercise is one major factor which controls your hormones and keeps your stress in control. Hydrate well, keep your weight in check. Not just this, for women with uh, symptoms of irregular periods or cysts on ovary, please visit a gynecologist for help. For women with hormonal imbalance, you can always visit an endocrinologist. For dermatological uh, issues like issues of skin and hair, visit a certified dermatologist and get yourself treated as soon as possible. Not just this, you can also consult nutritionists for a proper PCOS related diet. So the most important thing in PCOS is do not worry about it but treat it correctly.